this problem, we will find the critical angle between two substances, crown glass and water. We know the index of refraction for crown glass is 1.52, and the index of refraction for water is 1.33. Remember, the critical angle is the incident angle, which will produce an angle of refraction of 90 degrees. When we draw a diagram of the path of the light ray, it will look like this one on the screen, where the light is coming from the crown glass and is going into the water. The reason we know it's coming from the crown glass is that when light travels from a more optically dense material to a less optically dense material, the light bends away from the normal line. So in order for the angle of refraction to be 90 degrees, the light needs to move from the more optically dense material, crown glass, to the less optically dense material, which is the water. Now we can write down the givens in the problem, which are the index of refractions for the two substances. And we could write down what we're looking for. That would be the critical angle. Next, we'll write down the equation that we will use. You could just use the general version of Snell's law, but we will use the equation from our discussion. That was the critical angle is equal to the inverse sine of the quantity n2 divided by n1. Let's plug in our numbers. That would give us the critical angle equals the inverse sine of 1.33 divided by 1.52. When we divide those numbers in our calculator, we get that the critical angle equals the inverse sine of 0.858. Just a quick reminder. If you accidentally put 1.52 on the top and tried to divide it by 1.33, your calculator will give you an error when you take the inverse sign of that answer. Your calculator will always let you know for these problems when you've made a mistake because the sign of any angle can never be larger than one. Now we need to take the inverse sign of 0.858. Depending on your calculator, you can either hit the sign inverse button. More likely, you'll have a keypad that looks like this. You'll have to hit the second button that will be in the upper left, and then the sign button. When you do that, it activates the inverse sine function. So we'll take the inverse sine of 0.858. The answer to that is 59.1 degrees. Remember, this means if the incident angle was any larger than that, the light would reflect back into the material. So for example, if the angle of incidence was 59.2 degrees, the light would reflect back into the glass at an angle of reflection of 59.2 degrees. I hope this helped you out today.